here we are again, third time lucky. I have actually filmed this video twice already. I promised you guys it would be up earlier than what it is, but each time I have gone to edit the footage, I have just absolutely hated it. I've had a nightmare week filming. Sometimes you just get those weeks where you just are not happy with your content, you're just not happy with how you look, your quality, the settings on the camera, like just everything. So I had a little play around with my camera. I'm hoping the quality is gonna be better now and just everything. I don't know, let's keep our fingers crossed though because like I said, this is the third time I am filming this video, so yeah. Cheers to that. Let's take another sip of coffee. But anyway, hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, I am filming you a Mahuse Pretty Little Thing haul. You guys have been asking me to do another one of these because it's all I seem to wear nowadays. I'm not going to lie. I pretty much live in Pretty Little Thing. I just feel like at the moment they're absolutely killing their loungewear game. They just have so many beautiful things. And yeah, they are just my go-to. I don't even need to tell you that. So yeah, today I'm going to be showing you everything that I have been buying from Pretty Little Thing just lately. I need to put myself on a spending ban because this is getting very unhealthy. I don't know if anybody else is feeling like this at the moment, but I almost just want like a weekly pick me up to come through the door. Do you, do you know what I mean? I think because we can't go out and do any shopping, I just, I don't know. It's just always nice opening the door to a parcel and just having a little pick me up, but it's getting ridiculous. It's getting way out of hand. So that is me done now. Some of the things have been very kindly gifted in this haul. I do normally wear a pretty little thing, but obviously with everything going on at the moment, it's sort of just like on hold. Um, so yeah, some has been gifted, some has been bought. I would actually say that more has been bought than gifted. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to shut up. And if you want to see what I have picked up from Pretty Little Thing, then please continue watching. Hey guys, so jumping straight on into the haul. And obviously we're going to be starting with what I'm wearing because I had so many questions from you guys when I posted this on my birthday asking where it was from. And obviously it's Pretty Little Thing. It is simply a ribbed jumpsuit. It's bardo, off the shoulder. It's in like this oatmeal shade. Oh, it's so, so stunning. I wish I'd got it in a size smaller though, actually, because it's a little bit baggy. I got it in a size eight for reference, so I would definitely probably downsize um, because there is a lot of room. But all the same, it's super comfy and relaxed and the sort of thing you want to be wearing now whilst you're at home. But yeah, long sleeves, bardo. Um, it has just this little tie up here, straight leg. And yeah, I absolutely love this. I love just checking on jumpsuits, as you guys know. They're just so easy. And um, I then picked up from pretty little thing another chunky cardigan because my mum actually destroyed my Missy Empire one in the wash. It came out of the wash and it was all like defreaded. So I was so upset. So I managed to find one on PLT. Um, it's like a maxi length one. Again, it's in a nice chunky knit. I wish I'd got this a little bit bigger though. I got it in a size eight, but I do like my cardigans very sort of slouchy and almost like a dressing gown. Oh gosh, just hitting myself and I've got lipstick on it. So yeah, this is what it looks like with the cardigan, which is probably how I would wear it if it's a little bit chillier when you're inside. I've just chucked some trainers on just to finish the look, even though we're not really going out unless you're going for a walk. But yeah, I absolutely love this. The cardigan's really nice quality, by the way. It's in like a really nice chunky knit. Do you know sometimes cardigans can come and they're a little bit thin? This is a chunky knit, so just to clarify that. Um, but yeah, this is the first outfit and perfect for lounging at home. Okay, moving on to the next thing that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. And now again, something that I have already featured on my Instagram. And you guys seem to absolutely love this. I have so many DMs asking where this is from. Now you know. Um, unfortunately, when I did buy it, it was in super, super low stock throughout the top and the bottom. So I actually picked up completely random sizes in this. So I got a 14 in the hoodie and a six in the shorts. And luckily, by fluke, it fits absolutely perfect. It was like it's meant to be. So let me just come in and show you close up. So it is this beautiful coordinate. Um, it is like a two piece set matching. This is the hoodie, so it's just black. It is actually black, but I feel like sometimes the light reflects it a bit navy. But yeah, it's black in a nylon fabric. We've got a zip there, drawstrings in white, hoodie. Um, and then we've got like the color blocking on the sleeves. I absolutely love the fit of this. Like I said, it's a 14, but I would say it's more like a 10. And then in the bottoms, like I said, I got a size six and they actually fit spot on. So it was an absolute winner for me because I was unsure as to how this was gonna look fit wise. As you can see, shorts are just like a simple pair of runner shorts, white trim around the edge, drawstring again in white absolutely adore this outfit especially because the weather's been a little bit warmer but it's not like too hot so yeah just super ideal to wear now and um, like i did say this was low in stock i will link it 
it may not be in stock but just keep your eyes on it because i know that pretty little thing are always really good with restocking items so yeah this is the next item moving on to the next loungewear outfit as you can see this haul is predominantly loungewear because that is pretty much what i'm living in at the moment and um, so the next couple of things i picked up from plt were these cycle shorts and this jumper now i actually picked up this jumper again beginning of april time but i just realized i hadn't showed you so i thought i'd chuck it in the haul there is matching joggers to this as well i do have the matching joggers but i'm going to be completely honest about the joggers they don't actually match the top fully it's one of those annoying garments where because it's gone through an acid wash chemical process you sometimes get differences in the top and the bottom especially if they haven't been put in like the same wash load if that makes sense so yeah there is a little bit of color difference so i don't really like wearing them together so that's why i've teamed this with these shorts so this is the acid wash sort of like gray jumper probably could do with a little bit of an iron i've just rolled it up it's actually quite long um what size did i get in this i think i got a 10 let me have a look um yeah medium not 10 medium but yeah as i said i would just wear it a little bit more like tucked up like that it does have at the bottom this little plt sport logo which i really like so yeah simply just rolled it up like that and then i teamed it with these beautiful cycle shorts they're like a nice long basic pair of cycle shorts they're high waisted do you know what i wasn't really expecting much of these because they're really inexpensive like really affordable but they actually fit amazing do you know when you just find that pair of cycle shorts that you just chuck on and they really like skim your legs down a little bit and um, they just feel nice and relaxed and comfy so yeah i definitely definitely recommend plt's basic cycle shorts i'm going to try and get a few more pairs in different colors so yeah yet again just another really chilled simple everyday basic loungewear outfit okay and then moving very quickly on to the next outfit another jumpsuit again i just wanted a lot of comfy loungy things to wear in my wardrobe and as i already said said jumpsuits are just no-brainers they're just one of those pieces of clothing that you can just chuck on not really have much thought into your outfit and you are good to go so this is just a plain like mole gray jumpsuit and um, it has a really nice neckline actually it's quite like v-necked and scooped long sleeve and then it simply goes down into like quite a straight leg now you probably can see it's a little bit baggy i got this in a size eight honestly i don't know what's going on at the moment whether i've lost weight and i'm back down to a six now or or what but yeah i'm finding that all my eights are like getting a bit loose and hangy on me now so maybe those morning runs have made me lose a few pounds i don't know so yeah i sort of wish i got a six in this because it is a little bit baggy but yeah not a lot else to say just a real simple gray mom basic jumpsuit um, and it's super comfy as well next we move on to a tracksuit set my favorite sort of thing just to lounge around in nice and oversized relaxed and comfy now if you haven't been looking on pretty little thing then let me tell you they have been releasing and dropping some insane same track suits but they have been selling out like there's no tomorrow honestly i feel like as soon as they come in on that day they've gone by the evening so you have to act fast that's just a little bit of advice by the way um anyway i managed to grab this one now i'm not actually too sure on this i have already took the tags off and been living in it so i am keeping it because it is perfect for around the house but do have a little bit of a moan about this one it's in one of those fabrics girls where every little bit sticks to it bits that i didn't even know existed like hair fluff dust honestly it's absolutely ridiculous so it's definitely one of those items where you feel like you're having to constantly get your lint roller out and brush it all off so yeah on that basis i don't think i would have kept it if i had known that it's not until like you're aware of it that you realize is it so anyway let me just come in and show you it is really snuggly and cute though so i don't know maybe i would have kept it um but this is the hoodie black oversized hoodie now i actually got this in a 10 because like i said i normally always buy my jumpers and sweats on pretty little thing in a medium or a 10 but this seems really really oversized for a 10 probably a little too much so i probably would have just gone with an eight so that's just a little bit of guidance on size and then again i got the joggers in an eight and they are really really relaxed so yeah just bear that in mind if you do buy this they are very very relaxed sizing with a lot of given room so you could even downsized from your normal size, I would say. Um, but yeah, simple black hooded tracksuit. Has like hoodie with pretty little thing on. And then it also has some like slogan text here. Really, really cute. I do love it. But like I said, the bit thing is slightly annoying. Okay, sticking to loungewear. I feel like my tan during this haul is going to get progressively worse. Because I don't know what it is. It's like at a stage, guys, where... Can you see this? I don't think I've ever had this with a tan before. It's like almost peeling off so yeah please ignore that but anyway next thing i picked up from pretty little thing was another loungy type attire um, and this time it's in a play suit i don't actually think i have a play suit this 
comfortable is in a sweat fabric so let me just come in and show you so it's like high necked long sleeve it's elasticated at the sleeves and then it's also elasticated here then it goes down into like shorts with little pockets on it is so unbelievably comfy now i got this in a size eight again i feel like i definitely could have sized down because it's not as flattering maybe as i would have liked it i feel like it's a little bit big around this area but yeah really really cute really happy with this and just thought again something when the weather's a little bit warmer but not too warm you know just that middle temperature so yeah this is the next thing i picked up okay moving on to the next outfit from pretty little thing and again it's still very very loungy and comfy um but sort of like perfect for spring as it's getting a little bit warmer like i said i don't really want to be wearing joggers all the time when the sun's out but i still want to be super comfy because i am at home so uh, let me just come in firstly let me just say please excuse the top because i've just had to grab this out of the wash so it may have like little foundation marks on and stuff completely forgot to wash it for the haul um but yeah first thing i picked up was just a little basic from blt just a simple white ribbed top not a lot to say about the top at all it is just a simple basic but again something that i feel like everyone needs in their wardrobe because it goes very thin so yeah that is the top and then moving on to the shorts i have been after these for the longest time ever um they keep going out of stock coming back in and going out of stock i only managed to get these in a six i would have liked an eight but again it was one of those where i really wanted them and thought you know what i'm just going to get the six and hope that they fit and um, luckily they do they are a little tight i would have liked them a little bit more relaxed and looser i would have said but, but yeah they're still fine they're a nice length so that is all good um so yeah team them both together put some trainers on and i've also just sort of like draped a blazer over me i feel like just adding the blazer makes it look a little bit less casual just smartens it up a little i also have these in black so i'm just going to quickly chuck them on and show you the black ones too um but yeah these are really inexpensive on pretty little things so if you can grab them then i would because i just think like i said they're really nice just to chuck on as well as getting a little bit warmer but you still want to be comfy and relaxed at home okay so very quickly this is what the black ones look like so they're very similar to the first pair of shorts that i showed you with the matching coordinate and um, however these have two stripes on not one and i feel like the shade of black is very slightly different as well these are actually quite similar to the ones i showed you with the machine hoodie however there are a few differences um i feel like these ones are a little bit more shorter they have two stripes they have a black drawstring into the white um and they are slightly different in the shade of black so just wanted to let you know because there are a couple of differences but yeah i'm going to be living in these sorts of style shorts for the summer and sort of spring anyway so yeah this is what the black pair looks like okay hello i am actually in normal clothes not loungewear so next few things i'm going to be showing you are sort of more spring summer pieces that i would just typically wear um day to day and i feel like when the weather is nicer you sort of want to get out of your comfies and sit in the garden and wear something a little bit more dressed up i don't know if anyone else feels like that but i definitely do anyway managed to get these absolutely stunning denim shorts on pretty little thing now i've been looking for what feels like an eternity for just that perfect pair of denim shorts i'm so fussy when it comes to denim shorts i don't like them short short i don't like them too tight i don't like them too fitted i just want a nice length little bit baggy oh, these are them these are them i don't even need to say anything else so as you can see they're quite like a longish length um so i absolutely love that about them they're really relaxed which makes them super super comfy they're in such a stunning wash of denim as well i think that's always a key thing with denim shorts a nice wash um i did get them in size eight and they are a little bit baggy not gonna lie i probably could have got six but um yeah they'd still fit really really lovely and yeah so so obsessed with these and then again i've just teamed it with the little white razor top from pretty little thing and on top i've just whacked on this oversized blazer just when it's a little bit more cooler and then the sandals are actually zara which i have been looking for a pair like this forever if you watch my zara haul you will know and so yeah really love them too just to finish the outfit off i would then just whack on a pair of sunglasses these are pretty little thing too um and what i picked up more recently they're like hexagon black sunglasses admittedly they're cheap they're cheap quality they're not gonna last five minutes i don't think but i absolutely love these these remind me of a pair that i used to own you guys may be able to see the resemblance to the last pair that i had if you have like followed me on instagram for a while because i used to wear a pair like this religiously they were like my go-to pair of sunglasses 
I then lost them and yeah, that was the end. Yeah, really happy to find a little like duplicate. I think they're out of stock now, so I'm gonna need to get another pair just in case I do break or lose these. Um, yeah, this is the finished outfit. Moving swiftly on, the next thing I picked up from Pretty Little Thing was another pair of side fin shorts. I did say I was gonna move on to my more dressy uppy stuff, but I just found these to show you quickly. Um, so yeah, they're just a simple pair of like mint green cycle shorts. They've got this sort of like tie dye effect down the side, which I really, really love. Um, they did do a matching sports bra with this, but could I get it? Was it in stock? No, it wasn't. So yeah, I just simply teamed my bow and T1 with it um, instead. Um, I think it goes really, really nice. I sort of like the contrast of colours. But yeah, PLT do some amazing active wear at the moment. Like they have some really nice like, ombre stuff. And yeah, definitely check it out if you're looking for some active wear. I wear active wear just for casual. Um, so yeah, love these. I got them in an eight as well, just for sizing reference, by the way. Okay, back onto the string with some more dressier attire. So the next thing I picked up from PLT was this little placey. Now this is actually from the petite section. Got it in a size eight. When I first got this out of the packet, it was one of those items that I was like, oh, what's this all about? Do you know when you feel something and it just doesn't feel that great? Like it was so thin, which I was a little bit surprised about because on the model, and I guess like almost maybe on me now, it doesn't look like that. But this is like a really, really thin, lightweight fabric. But Saying that, when you try it on, it fits amazing, it feels lovely. It definitely could have done with a bit of an iron. I think it's just one of those items that you don't initially expect it to be so lightweight and thin fabric, if that makes sense. But it will be perfect for the summer because, I don't know about you, but I hate heavyweight denim and things like that in the summer when it's like a million degrees. So all it is, is just a simple white like utility play suit. It's got a zip here, um, it's got a buckle belt as well, and then it's quite like floaty in the shorts, which again, I really, really like. I love the sleeves too. Oh my God, my tan, it just looks hideous. Please, please just ignore. I'm gonna scrub it off right after this video. But yeah, just a real simple chunk on play suit. Teamed it with my little pearl sandals. Um, I'd also obviously like wear my sunglasses a bit as well. Um, and yeah, just a cute little summer outfit. Okay, so then moving on to another little summery number. I absolutely love this colour. You guys know I don't venture into colour too much, but in the summer I feel like um, I'm just instantly drawn to colour. I think it's the sunshine that just makes you want to wear colour more. So anyway, I picked up this denim little play suit. It's in like an aqua turquoisey blue colour. Um, and I absolutely love this. I don't own anything like this in my wardrobe. So it's like crossover here. It's got pockets and then it's like simple in here now it's a little bit of a weird fit i'm not gonna lie the bottom half is quite tight um and then the top half is a lot more loose relaxed and baggy um so yeah i feel like i definitely could have probably got a size 10 just because i i don't know i'd preferred the shorts to be a little bit more of a loose fit if that makes sense um but yeah all the same i do really like this i really like the color it's nice quality as well so yeah just another little throw on play suit for when the weather is nicer and i can sit out in the garden okay i'm gonna have to hold myself in for the next one. Oh, i didn't know if to show you this or not just because it doesn't fit but i thought i'd show it you because it probably will fit some people uh, maybe i could have got a size smaller and it would have fit um anyway so next up i picked up this really cute summer dress now i do love this like i love the print i love the style and how it could potentially be but oh god I'm flashing to you you guys know how i am on this top half like i'm just so small here that nothing ever seems to fit when it's like crossover or like strappy so yeah i think it should fit like that so it's got a little bit like of a shoulder detail here which i love it's feed neck and then the sleeves are elasticated and really really pretty and then it goes down into that fabric that do you know it's like really elasticated like it's all elasticated fabric here so it really like cinches you in and it's super flattering and then the bottom half is just this like nice little frill hemline i don't know i just thought this was something a little bit different very feminine very girly very like summer appropriate and um, looks really cute with these little pair of sandals i've got on as well but unfortunately it just doesn't fit me at all um so yeah i got a size eight don't know how the size six would be but it's such a shame because I just feel like this is so pretty. Such a nice, like, summer girly dress. So, yeah, that's the next item. 
Okay, I feel like the end may be inside. I feel like this haul is never ending. There is so much stuff. Um, next thing I picked up was just a simple pair of basic wide leg jogger trousers. Now again, this was another thing that on Pretty Little Thing was really low in stock, so I'm not too sure if they still are there. Um, but yeah, you know I love a wide leg trouser. I feel like wide leg trousers are an absolute staple in my wardrobe. I love wearing them on a day to day um, with just like a little top like now and a blazer. I just think they look really smart. So obviously I'm at home and to be honest with you, wide leg trousers are still something I could wear because they are really comfy. But I come across jogger ones and yeah, I just really wanted to get my hands on these because they're in just such a relaxed, comfy, like sweat-like fabric. They're elasticated around the waist um, and just with something like a little top like this, I just think they look really nice. Um, I've just put little sandals on just because, I mean, you could wear trainers, but I think equally these look quite okay. So yeah, what size did I get in these? I got a UK 8 just for reference. Okay, moving on to something a little bit different. Um, I picked up some nightwear from Pretty Little Thing. I have been eyeing up their nightwear for the longest time. I feel like they've got so many cute little styles on there and I've been really into satin PJs at the moment. I have a whole love for them that I never even knew existed. They are just the comfiest things ever. Now they are in size 12, that's why they look quite big on me. Um, and also, excuse if you can see any like fake tan marks on these because I did pop them in the wash um, and just grab them out to try on. But yeah, they only had a size 12 left in the eve and I just really liked them. I really liked the colour. If I come in and show you as well, they have like this pretty little thing, embroidery little bit here. Um, they have this pi white piping around the edge, white buttons, just like a really nice loose shirt and again, just loose bottoms. Yeah, to be completely honest, I like my pyjamas oversized anyway. I've never really picked my size in pyjamas because I don't want to go to bed having something clinging and being tight to me. So I feel like going up a size in pyjamas is just a must. Um, but yeah, adore these. Definitely check out the pyjama section because they have so many cute ones. Okay, next up another tracksuit. As you can see, I'm not wearing the tracksuit complete. Um, and I'll tell you about that in a second. But as I already mentioned, PLT are just delivering with the tracksuits at the moment. They're doing so many different colorways. And yeah, I'm just obsessed with them. They're really nice quality as well and always like super soft and relaxing to wear so i picked up this one i was really drawn to the color actually i don't have any sort of like blue items in my wardrobe really um so it's just a simple blue sweat with this orange like pretty little thing text on it and then same with the joggers just a really nice pair of blue drawstring joggers with again just some orange printed text on um so yeah together i just didn't quite like it i felt like they're very oversized and loungy items. So I got the sweater in a tent, which I normally would, but I feel like for some reason this is a little bit more oversized than what they normally are in a ten. Um, and then the bottoms are an eight, I believe. But again, they feel very slouchy. So because of the slouchiness, I felt like when I put it together, I just looked, I don't know, it just wasn't flattering me at all. So I love them both. I love the tracksuit, but I feel like personally for me, I would prefer to style them up separately. So with the sweater, as you can see, I've just simply chucked on a pair of cycle shorts. These are from Vermonty, the cycle shorts, by the way. Um, and I absolutely love it like this. I feel like because the shorts are sort of like more flattering and fit nice, it just complements it better in my opinion. And then with the jackets, how I would wear these is I would simply wear them with like a body, a crop top, and yeah, I think they'll look really, really nice like that. So yeah, another tracksuit, really love that. Okay, moving on to the final outfit of the haul. We have got there. Um, now, this outfit doesn't actually fit me, as you can probably already see, but I thought I would share it with you anyway because it will fit another person, you know, just because it doesn't fit me doesn't mean it's not going to fit everybody. So I picked up this beautiful knitted crop top and these gorgeous linen trousers. Now, obviously it's linen, they need ironing, I'm very aware of that, um, but let me just come in and show you. So, this is the crop top. I have actually just um, use a hair bubble to tie it up behind me just because it's so big on the straps. Now I did get it in a large, so that is completely why, but I really wanted this top and I just thought, well, if I can sort of alter it myself, I'll keep it because I really like it. Um, so yeah, I possibly could keep this and just alter it because it's so, so lovely. Stunning for summer, I think. It would go with so many different things. And then, yeah, I got these linen trousers. It was actually styled up like this on the website. So that was where my inspiration was from. I just thought it looked a really cute sort of spring, summer outfit. But when the weather's warmer um, and you want to wear trousers still, I do still like to wear trousers like when it's not too warm, especially thin fabric, like cool linen ones. And these are definitely that um so yeah the trousers i love 
but as you can probably see they are just so ridiculously long on me um, i'm only five foot three so yeah definitely one for you taller girls i got these in an eight and i got the top in a large just because there were no other sizes but yeah i definitely think this outfit on someone else um, with the trousers fitted would look so so stunning so yes yeah, so let's have it so anyway guys that brings us to the end of this pretty little big haul i feel like it's been a real long one today i feel like i had so much stuff i really really hope you have enjoyed it as always i will leave the links in the description bar they will be affiliate links just as a little disclaimer which merely means i earn a small percentage for influencing your purchase it doesn't affect your buying right or anything like that so yeah if you do want to use them links then i would be so so grateful just because obviously at the moment um i'm very selective with who I work with on sponsorships and like I said a lot of my brands that I normally work with have got no budget or have stopped collaboration so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching as always remember to hit the subscribe button give it a like and I shall see you all in my next video bye bye